Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. 1117 in Honolulu, 517 in New York on Thursday, 11th day of May, 2023. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Now, for the second day in a row, we have seen prices in gold decline with the most active June contract currently fixed at $2,000. $20.50, down a little over $16 on the day. The call for today for the most part is dollar strength, with the dollar up 0.62% and the index fixed at 101.90. Lastly, silver declined by a tremendous 5%, a huge drawdown today, of over a dollar twenty, with the most active July contract currently fixed at twenty four dollars and thirty six cents. Yesterday's release of last month's CPI inflationary data turned into be a quite volatile day, rising at the beginning and then falling to close in the negative by the close of the session. Today, we saw follow through selling with gold losing about $16. So on this show, I want to take a much more long-term view of gold pricing. And the chart we will use for this long-term view is the weekly chart that you have on screen. It is in standard candlestick format, and it goes back to the beginning of 2020. What we want to highlight first is the record high that gold achieved of 2,088. And this, of course, occurred back in 2020. It came very close to that in April of 2022. And now we have, in essence, what I'm calling a triple top because we came within striking distance of that price point recently. We can see that that has been really a line in the sand over the last couple of years, but I believe that we will see gold move higher based upon the fundamentals currently at play. The most important thing we have to realize is that if the Federal Reserve, in fact, begins a pause in raising rates and inflation remains elevated, then market participants are going to focus on elevated inflation rather than the high level of interest rates because they both have an opposite effect in terms of how gold reacts to it. Higher inflation is bullish for gold. Higher interest rates is the opposite. It is bearish. We are still looking for gold to go anywhere between 2120 that would be a 78% extension of wave three. And wave three that we are looking at on this long-term count has gold at $1,448 back in April of 2020, up to the record high. That was quite a substantial rally, considering this leg of the rally has begun at 1621 and moved up to the same high, approximately 2080. We do have equal tops, and so it isn't that far-fetched to look for gold to trade as high as $2,100 per ounce. I don't think it will climb to 2261, but we can go anywhere in between these two price points. I am looking at a midpoint just shy of 2200 is where I think this rally will top out. And I still believe that that is highly achievable by the end of 2023. For now, we will remain flat with no active trades after taking small profits yesterday on our trades. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.